Now, we will share how to use this device. Put on this belt. Now it can be adjusted here. This side can also be adjusted. If the waist is particularly tight, you can relax a little bit. Depending on the person's the waistline adjustment, then we put this. Brace tied to the leg. Double sided tied to the leg. Then, this power unit is located at the hip bone. The same side is also in the position of the hip bone. In the position of the hip bone. Then these two, you can pull, depending on your height. Pull a little tighter or loosen a little. Adjust this way as well as back. After you finish wearing, outside is the right hand, power on. Press the unbutton power on for a moment. Left side. The key on the left is a function key. Long press to switch the function. Left hemiplegic mode. We move our right leg. Gently move your right leg and lift your left leg. What if it is right hemiplegia? Press and hold this key again. 3 seconds. Right hemiplegic mode stepping left leg and lifting right leg. With weakness in both legs. Press the function key again. It is assisted walking mode, lifting both legs. Assist legs to lift. Then this key on the left. There is also a function to switch power grade. Short press. From E Street to Woods level. First grade. Second grade. Third grade. Fourth grade. About the important steps, explain again. Only after we put it on, then press the power button. This is the first point to note. The second is when we are well dressed. These two power units must be in the position of the hip bone. Then adjust according to height, fat and thin. Through these two belts. And the third requirement. It is when we are doing rehabilitation training. For this kind of hemiplegic elderly. And the elderly with weak legs must be accompanied by a caregiver or family member. Or where there is a handrail on the wall. It is not possible to make this kind of people to use alone. How long does a training session take? Generally recommended 20 to 30 minutes. Do not exceed 30 minutes. After the training is completed, we must turn off firstly. Turn off the power first and then take off the device. Do not turn on the device while it is charging. This is the charging port. 2 to 3 hours for each charge. A full charge can be used for 2 and a half hours. That's all for a brief introduction.